to me. I was like very, very just like sucked into this picture. So I was like, hmm, okay, I need to make a video ASAP. First off, this is super affordable. It's $13.99. It is a powder compact foundation. This is what came with their PR and it says that it's finely milled. It is silky in texture. It's gonna minimize the appearance of pores. It's also got an innovative technology with water lock system. I don't know what that is. It's medium to full coverage. I have to apologize. My brain is not in my body at the moment. I am having the most severe jet lag ever. So if I seem a little bit like, whoa, Tati is so crazy in this video. She's not making a lot of sense. Just, I want you to know that I know. So let's get to applying this foundation. I am gonna wear it all day long. It is called the Aqua Assurance. The name kind of says it all. I want to add that it has cactus flower extract. It has chamomile, one of my favorite teas. It has Calora. You know what's funny? It doesn't Calora, like it's a health food. Like you can put, you know, a dropper of it in water. But I always think of like Calora, like the plague, like the illness, like they sound so similar. And we're back to having a moment where my brain kind of is not in my body. This is a cruelty-free brand. I really enjoy J-Cat. They have eight shades, which is not enough, but I do want to say the lightest to darkest is a pretty drastic difference. It's not like there's, you know, a ton in like the, the top five ivory and then here and here. It's just kind of this. It does say to prep your skin with a hydrating primer, of course. They encourage you to use the J-Cat Dewy Primer. I did not do any pore filling because I really want to see what this product is capable as far as filling my pores <laughs> with powder. It's also magical water. I am going to be somewhere in this shade range right here, I'm thinking. It's always hard just by, you know, the swatch on the box, but there is soft tan, golden beige, and natural. The rest of them, I am going to donate them because that's the name of the game right now. I do not like to swatch everything. I like to donate as much as I can, but we are going to use these. Let's figure out what shade I am. Ooh, that's kind of light, right? I got a little bit of color. I mean, I was rocking SPF 50 and like terrified that I was going to break out so hardcore. So the SPF that I took with me was the one that Drew Barrymore actually recommended that I had on hand. I forget the name of it off the top of my head, but I will list it in the description box below. And she is right. If you get breakouts from SPF, this is it. Like it is so good. I think that's gonna be too dark. I think this might be it. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of dark, actually. Mmm, wow. Okay, so that one was soft tan. This one right here is natural. I think that's better. Well, it's kind of light, right? Dang it. I want to embrace the tan and make it almost a little bit more tan. Ah. Okay, medium beige is a little bit darker. Okay, also like random side note, you guys, tomorrow, actually today, when you're watching this, I will be on a plane again because I'm going to New York. I got a huge honor from Nylon Magazine as an innovator in beauty. And it's just like the coolest thing. Like I kind of feel like, I am dreaming right now. So that'll be really cool. I will definitely be snapping and capturing a lot on Instagram stories. So make sure that you are following me. I'll try to like get a bunch of like behind the scenes. Jessica Alba is gonna be the keynote at the event and I'm super excited. We're gonna go in with medium beige. You guys know I like some coverage with my foundation and with a powder foundation, I don't want it to be powdery and weird. And I am curious if this is going to like fill in my pores like it says it will. That looks like shit. What? Okay, this is not the right shade. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, you know what the tricky thing though with powder foundation? I should probably do my concealer first. Can I be more chatty Kathy making no sense? Probably. Okay, we're now gonna go in with natural. Just one step up, one shade lighter. And please God, be the right color. Okay, first off, this is covering. Like it really, really is. This is a little bit light for me. I'm kind of in between shades here. I'm gonna have to bronze my skin up and that's fine. How many of you guys wear powder foundation? I would be curious to know. Leave that in the comments below. I do wanna mist my sponge with a setting spray. They show a picture of that on to blend. Holy smokes. <laughs> Maybe that was a bad idea. Um, wow, a velour puff will just get you. Holy crap, what? 
It looks very powdery right now, but I can feel that the second I drench myself in some setting spray, some hydrating setting spray, I think this will look really nice. I feel like a velour puff is actually the way to get that maximum coverage and a better blend. The sponge in here is not doing it for me. I did not like applying this wet because it kind of dragged and pushed and pulled the foundation here, there, everywhere. But I have to say the texture of this, you guys, I really wish you could reach through the screen and just like feel my skin because it is so soft. Like this is the softest powder that is also very full coverage. So I actually, right now I'm quite into it. I'm gonna finish up my face and then I will be back and we will set the skin and see exactly where we land. You guys, this is kind of blowing my mind right now because it's a powder, but it is not accentuating anything dry on my face. It is not accentuating lines. It looks really beautiful. I like how even my skin looks. It feels very lightweight. I cannot get over the price. I thought that this this was a little bit of an extreme exaggeration, which to be honest, I think it kind of is, but I have to say this product does deliver a beautiful canvas for you to work with. And I forgot how much I love layering other powder products on top of just powder. So it was really nice to do my makeup using no liquids, no creams, and have it still turn out looking this dewy and I like it. So we're gonna set the face and then I will take you with me throughout the rest of my day, do a few check-ins and just see how long it stays looking great. Okay, you guys, it is super, super hot here in LA. So I think that is like the first test. If your foundation can stay looking cute in a heat wave, then it's a good foundation. So this has not gotten oily. I have stayed highlighted where I want to be. And the rest of it is just like holding together so nicely. And James loves it. I love it. <laughs> um, we're gonna try and beat the jet lag blues by going to Starbucks and that how's my foundation? It's beautiful. I cannot shut up about your foundation today. Ooh, tell me more. It looks fantastic. Why does it look fantastic? It just looks great. Does it look like powder? No. No? No. It actually looks super like hydrated and even, you guys. Like I really You're like summer glowy. Right? I can't believe this is powder and that it covered the way that it did. I am really into it. We're halfway through the day. It's hot out. We're jet lagged. We're tired. I'm going to pray that the caffeine kicks in soon and I will do some more check-ins for you guys in a little bit. Foundation is holding up beautifully. I am so shocked. It's been on all day and I still like it. It is now the end of the day. Guys, this is so awesome. Now every powder foundation that I have recently tried, recently being like over the past year or so, I have not liked, like I really have not liked and I've tried some expensive ones. Like I think I even tried from Serge Luton or something like that, like a $200 powder foundation and I put it on and I was like, Ew. I did not like it because it was so powdery and I felt like it made all my hairs exaggerated and my pores exaggerated and I don't know what they put in here. Again, I feel like every video I make where I'm talking positively about products, I have to say this is not sponsored. This was sent to me, but it is not sponsored. I really, really like this. I encourage you guys, if you are into the idea of a powder foundation, you like that, you like the convenience of it, you want the coverage of it, I think that you would be really into this. It did stay relatively matte, so it's not luminous. It's not super matte either. It just looks like your skin on its best day with like pumped up coverage. That's the best way I can explain it. It didn't itch, it didn't dry out my skin, it didn't cake. I mean, it's just, it's really nice. I like it. So hooray for discovering a new foundation that is a powder that is convenient, that is $13.99. I'm into it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is a great, great foundation alternative. If you don't want a liquid, you want a powder, this is definitely worth checking out and the price is pretty gosh darn good too. So yay for that. And if you like this video, then like it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you are here so that you don't miss my future videos. You are gonna have to turn on the notifications because that's just what you have to do these days on YouTube. So drop it down to all. Do that and uh, you'll see my videos. I'm here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. I hope you come back for more. I love you so much and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.
All right, so there have been so many bomb new affordable eyeshadow palette launches lately that I thought I would just throw all of my favorites in a video. So I have seven eyeshadow palettes to talk about today. All of these palettes are under $15 with the exception of one that is $16, but you can get it under 15. So if you're excited for this video, you can give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it, it does help me out. And if you're new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. By the way, I am wearing one on my eyes right now, which we will get into eventually. So the first one, which one do I wanna start out with? Let's start out with this one by Jcat. So this is the Take Me Away Fantasy Dreamland eyeshadow palette. They launch a few along the same lines of this one. Personally, I have the three. This one's my favorite. It comes with 21 shades and it retails for $13.99. Jcat is cruelty free. So for 14 bucks, you get these shades right here. And the inside of this palette, like the actual shades, look nothing like the packaging or the concept to me. When I think of Fantasy Dreamland, I think of very bright, like exactly what this cover looks like, the outside of the palette. These are just beautiful muted kind of like fall tones. So I don't think the packaging or concept really goes with the shades in here at all. So if you've been kind of like put off by the packaging and stuff, just look at the inside of these and try to like block out the 5,000 colors that are coming out your eyeballs right now. But both the shimmer and the matte shades in here are gorgeous, crazy, metallic, beautiful. The mattes in here are really nice as well. You can just, oh, I just put that right over the shimmer, whoops. Every shade I've tried in this palette so far has just blended out beautifully. I like every time I use this how my eyeshadow look turns out. Jcat shadows usually work out for me pretty well. I love the Jcat Access Pocket shadows, the little like pink ones they always talk about. But this one did not work out for me. This is a new launch as well. This is the eye, Imagine 35 eyeshadow palette. This one is like just seems like totally different quality to me It's very cheap like two of these have already fallen out and they're not the same formula These ones are a bit more dry and they just don't have that like pop to them So just know if I'm recommending one brand of these I'm not recommending like the entire brand and every single thing they make I'm just recommending that specific palette because like with every brand there are things that for the most part that I love and things that I don't love at all Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada, and welcome. So in today's video, I received a package from Jcat Beauty, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So they came out with three Extreme Access Pocket Shadows for $7.99, a convenient pocket-sized shadow palette that's great on the go, six matte, six shimmer, from classic to playful shades, highly pigmented shadows with blendable texture. Okay. And they also sent over the Jcat Beauty All About That Base. So I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape as an eyeshadow base and then blend it out with a beauty sponge. Oh, I should have used the Jcat Beauty base, but I always use this. Just something I just gravitate to. Like, brain already knows, like, oh, this is what we're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Walk of Stardom here, the middle shade. And then we're going to lightly apply that. I'm just going to stamp it first and then just lightly blend that. Just lightly blend. I'm just going to stamp and then just lightly blend. This color is so, so pretty. And it just blends like a dream. So we're gonna blend that in our crease. And we are going to lightly blend it right above here. I love mixing mustard and orange together. I just love the color that it just creates. It looks so, I don't know, interesting. We're gonna go in with this purple along with that matte. So the shimmer and the purple together. And we're going to no pigment. What the? Okay, so we're just gonna grab some of that. Nope, that's not working. There's no pigmentation. Did you guys see that? There's nothing. And I even scraped it so that I can get some color. Because I'm really trying to dig the brush in the pan. Okay, there you go. I'm to blend that. In my crease. I'm gonna go in with that brown. Yeah, like look at all the fallout happening around my, my face. I'm going to grab and pop it right there just to give our eye just a little more of a boom. <laughs> so some are very pigmented and some of the shades aren't. 
Okay, so I want to go in with this shade right here all over the lid. It's going to kind of break it up a little bit. As you can see, it's kind of sort of chunky. Not a little bit on my brush. Going in with my Maybelline Master Fix. So we're just going to... Oh, you And just lightly press and then blend it in. Okay, so I wet it and I kind of made it into like a cream. Okay, there you go. I think I, I kind of made it work. I do want to go back in with a fluffy, with a blending brush and pick up some of that brown and a little bit of that wine shade and add that in our crease just to kind of blend everything together. It's, it's coming together. It just takes a little bit, a little bit of work. We're gonna go in with the Urban Decay eyeliner and we're just going to add that to our bottom lash line. And we're just going to add that right underneath. And it's just gonna give us a really pretty smoky eye. Here's the finished eye look. Okay, so now let's go in with this one. This one is Pops of Paparazzi. Okay. Go and in with this dusty rose color. And that's gonna go in our crease. Okay, so that shade is showing. That looks very pretty. We'll be trying the JCAP Beauty All About That Base Nude Shadow Primer. And it just looks like that, it's very pigmented. And I'm just gonna add it right there. Watch, it's gonna work perfect with it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my finger, and I'm just going, damn, that was, a, that is pretty. Like it almost looks wet. And place it right in our inner eye. There's like not all the other mattes that I could use with this color combo going on. So maybe like a really intense wing will kind of bring the whole look together. So I'm just trying to see what we can use just in the palette by itself. I don't want to dip into my other shades. And we're just going to place it oh, baby, right there. So here's a finished eye look for this palette. Okay, so I do want to go in for this last look and use their eyeshadow base. And the base is pretty pigmented, which I don't know why I didn't use at the beginning. Like, it's very pigmented. It kind of wants to be sticky, but it's not. Okay, so the last one is the Red Carpet Premier. I'm going to grab that and apply that underneath our brow bone and bring that down. Love you. Okay, I'll hurry, okay? Okay orangey shade and we're going to apply that in our crease so first i'm just going to dab blend that all in my crease i am going to do a cut crease lately i feel like i've been doing a lot of cut creases but that's why i saved this one for last i'm gonna go a little bit deeper i'm gonna go in with this darker shade right here and place that and then blend when you're doing the cut creases, you want to go kind of intense. Well, when I'm doing the cut creases, I like to go pretty intense just to really build up that baboom crease. Okay, I'm going to go with a little bit of that kind of wine shade. And we're just going to apply that a little bit just on the outer corner. Okay, so we're gonna cut the crease and I will be using my Makeup Shack T37. I'm gonna use this color on my inner eye and this one middle and then we're going to blend. I think with the with the palettes, it's just kind of more of a hit and miss with some of the shades. So we're just going to add this to the inner part of our eye. And put it on my finger. Okay, let me see if I use my finger now since I broke up the pieces. It's not doing what I want it to. 
six matte, six shimmer. But I wouldn't say that there's just shimmer. There's shimmer and then there's like chunky glitter as well. It's, it's really weird. I'm gonna add these two colors and kind of put it towards here and blend. And then this shade, I'm going to wet it and then we're gonna pop that shade in the center of our eye. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna go in and grab some glitter because JCat Beauty does have some really pretty glitter. So I'm just gonna add this like in the center. No, I really don't like how it's coming. So I'm going to use the J-Cap Beauty Chrome Eye Mousse. Pop that in the center of my eye. Let me add that right in the center. Yeah, you see that's making it come to life. I'm not mad at the palette. I feel like there is some that you... I, it, the only thing I'm mad about, I guess when I look at the palette, is the freaking, the freaking chunky glitter that they decided to put in here. So for my bottom lash line, I kind of just really want to make sure that's really smoked. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that wine shade. Okay, so let's talk about the palettes and my final thoughts on them. I like the colors, but I don't like that they have that chunky freaking glitter. It's such a pain in the ass, and it's going to be very time consuming. So I'm gonna go over the palettes and I'm gonna tell you what I like about it. That one, personally, all of that good stuff. Okay, and another thing <laughs> that I have to complain about is the names. The eyeshadow names are not on the palette. You have to get the packaging if you want to know what, what eyeshadow and if you want to be like, girl, use this one, this one, this one, this one, which is kind of a bummer. It's just like, they should have just put it on here. So if you throw away this, you won't know the name of the eyeshadows. The one shadow that was chunky in this palette is High Speed. High Speed is the chunky kind of formula that I was talking about. The other shades I really loved. Very pigmented, it didn't have a problem with them at all. The one that really didn't show much on my skin is A-List, but that's fine, because it's the other shades I'm more than willing to, it's, it's cool. And oh, the purple one, BTS. That one was kind of hard to even swatch. It didn't really show up much. Not even showing up really now. This is a really pretty palette to have in your collection. Just because of the shimmer shades right here besides that one. Just for that extra like in your makeup look. I like it. I like it. This is one that I, I really do like. Walk to Stardom. The middle shade, Shiny Sars. Honor in Vine Street. So Vine Street really didn't have pigmentation. It reminded me of the purple one in the other palette. Did it really have pigmentation? You see, you can't, it's just not showing up. Even when I was grabbing the Real Techniques brush and I was dipping, I was dipping, I was even scraping, it wasn't picking up anything. It took a minute to pick up anything at all. Even when I uh, dipped into this one right here, which is Honor, and I used this one, and then it finally started picking up somewhat color, but not even enough. Like even right now, Mira, it's, it, it's a freaking biatch to really play with. So those three shades, all the other shades were beautiful. These two shades right here, amazing pigmentation. Loved it, very pretty. So these four shimmers right here were awesome. Pigmentation on these I really loved. Pigmentation on this one was awesome. These two shades I did not like. So it, again, it's just personal preference. I'm just telling you what I just did not like about the palette but it is very, very pretty. And then last but not least, this one is Red Carpet. Red Carpet was, as you guys seen, the one that I complained about the most because I was just really disappointed with this formula. At, that, at this point, I was just like, damn, I just wanted it to work. Photo shoot, that one was a biatch to apply and dress up. These two shades were very, very, ugh. Matte shades were awesome though. So the six matte shades, amazing. So it's just kind of like a hit and a miss here and there. If you're willing to have two shades on, are gonna give you a hard time. Do you want it? 
no no yes no it's like really up to you want to put in the extra time sometimes we don't have enough time and then we have those days where we're like we sit down glam ourselves up and sit there and actually play with the makeup out of all the palettes i would say if you were just like okay which one would you recommend to get i would say go with walk to stardom these shades right here were just so freaking pretty i really liked it my least favorite i guess would have to be the red carpet premiere this one was my least favorite but these two I did like a lot and they were there was a few hit and miss in here but definitely give it a try just because something does not work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you it's definitely worth a try just for you guys to see how pretty the mattes are and the shimmers that aren't the chunky glitter I, I, I am mad about the chunky glitter. I'm glad I played with, around with all three. Because if I would have just played with one, I would have just assumed it was just that palette. All three had a little cabrona in there. Those are my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash review. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated my videos. Te quiero mucho, you guys. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Danico. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a very glam makeup tutorial and all of the products that I'm going to be using are from Jcap Beauty. I did a video last time with Jcap. What I noticed with their product is that it's very long lasting and very perfect shot for parties. So the first thing that I'm going to be using is their primer, the Young H2O Fresh Dewy Base Primer. And basically this is just a hydrating face primer and it's oil free. I'm just gonna apply this to the T-zone area. The consistency is like water. Lang so, I am. And in the PR kit that they gave me, there's no concealer and foundation. I'm just gonna do that very quickly. So now let's move on to the brows. I'm gonna be using their Brow Amazing Duo Kit. It comes with eyebrow stencils. And then, ito na yung mismong eyebrow kit. So, from cute niya, kasi super small lang niya. So, I'm just gonna do my brows. By the way, I'm using the shade for my brows. One thing na super gusto ko sa Jacob is that their products are very affordable. And mukha lang siyang expensive, like yung products na if you go to their store, but actually very affordable yung products nila. Ayan na yung kilay ko. Parang very natural lang yung dati. And now, let's work on with my eyes. They gave me this holographic 3D eye topper. This one is in the shade Pinch Me Peachy. And then, meron din nitong Prism Metal Chrome Eye Mousse. And this one is in the shade Coil Braid. And then they also gave me this Rock in the Night Sparkling Powder. This one is in the shade Gingerbread Sugar. To be honest, hindi talaga ako magaling mag eyeshadow. And feeling ko hindi bagay sa akin. They also gave me this 24 eyeshadow palette in the shade Melrose Avenue. And ito yung mga shades ng palette. And super ganda ng mga shades niya kasi super bold colors. Talagang pong party talaga. And this watch ko na yung ibang shades. So, ayan. Pigmented pala nito. Oh my gosh, wait. Wala kasi ako mirror. I'm gonna use the shade sa crease ko. Just to darken it up a bit. Wait. metal chrome eye mousse. This is in the shade Coil Green.
So now I'm going to use the Lagrafe TD eye topper. I'm done with my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use the waterproof mascara. I can't really use this sa upper lashes ko since I have eyelash extensions. So I'll use this na lang sa bottom lashes ko. Next, I'm gonna move on to blush. They gave me this Love Struck Blusher Plus Bronzer. And this one is in the shade Coral Dumpling. Super love ko tong product na to kasi meron silang binigay sa akin na ganito before. Iba lang yung shade. And super natural ng dating. So, cheeks ko. So, I really like this product. So, nag contour lang ako. Now, I'm gonna proceed to highlighter. I'm gonna be using the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in the shade Mermaid Skin. So, now we're gonna move on to the lip. They gave me this Lip Tonics Extreme Shimmer Topper. And then, they also gave me this Lip Finity Matte Lip Kiss Cream. This is shade that is super... Black niya. And then we have another Lefinity Matte Lip Kiss Proof in the shade Champagne Buzz. So, ito na lang yung gagamitin ko sa lips ko. And then, I'm just gonna use super konti lang nito sa gitna ng lips ko. That is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you still haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!